Hi, Dave. I'm conducting uh, aluminum air battery research here at school. And uh, what we have here is a makeshift battery with aluminum and graphite. And we're actually testing deep eutectic liquids, ionic liquids closely related as the electrolyte. So first here is a picture of the typical deep eutectic. Give you an idea what it looks like. Yellow liquid and uh, not really hygroscopic. We prepared this about six weeks ago, this batch. Clear liquid and that is a mixture of choline chloride, vitamin B4, and livolenic acid which is a renewable made from cellulose. It's becoming cheaper all the time. It's actually going to be down to pennies per gram. Well, in any event, a 1 to 2 molar ratio, respectively, of choline chloride, vitamin B4, and livolinic acid, you mix it up. The livolinic acid is a liquid. The choline hydrochloride is, uh, of course, ionic, a solid. And when you mix them up, you get a deep eutectic. This has a freezing point, probably, I would say probably about 10 below zero Fahrenheit. If you use glycerin instead of livolenic acid, you'll probably get down to about 35, 40 below Celsius. So well, that's our uh, material that we're actually doing research testing. Now, what about the battery itself? Well, what we do is use two five millimeter graphite rods, electrodes, and uh, you can get them on eBay sticks. Um, if I had to give you a ballpark number, about a dollar a stick from China, graphite rods. Now, if you don't want to use them, they're each five millimeter, and I'm using two. I broke off two pieces, maybe a couple of inches in length. If you don't want to do that, get yourself about ten pencils, wooden pencils. Burn the wood off, leaving behind the graphite. Each one of those will have about a one millimeter diameter, so you can use five or ten of them in a bundle. And what you do, you bundle up your graphite and wrap it very nicely in a scouring pad. So let's take you over here. Here's an ordinary household kitchen sponge and we like the scouring pad. Now you can get them uh, as is or you can get the sponge with that coating on the top. Cut that off and use that as your insulation. Wrap the graphite very tightly in that and support it, hold it together with rubber bands, about three or four rubber bands, and then soak that in your electrolyte for about five minutes. Blot it dry, and then wrap it tightly in aluminum foil, and give yourself a stem for electrode coupling, like I did. And this battery was kicking out, it started out about 1.31 volts, dropped down to around 1.18, and I'm passing air through it here in the lab. Put pinholes in the aluminum. Get yourself a little pin and put a whole bunch of uh, holes in there so it can breathe, literally can breathe. Now, the oxygen in the air gets reduced to water at the anode, which is the carbon. And uh, that's your anode. The cathode is the aluminum foil. This is an aluminum air battery, and of course the advantage there is pretty high potential and uh, the uh, lightness. Now let's see what we're getting here. Just check this. Uh, 1.19, 1. Yeah, uh, holding steady about 1.19 1 volts, 1.18. So of course I'll make about five of these couple them up in series and uh, we'll be testing actually to see how long they function 
getting standard uh, ohms. We'll do some uh, potentials in uh, versus time with a workload, small DC motor. And uh, the next thing will be to work on capping the device. But I don't have to worry about evaporation, you see, because literally that's why you don't want to use salt water or vinegar like a lot of people experimenting at home do. You want to use a deep eutectic liquid because it has virtually no vapor pressure at room temperature. It's not going to evaporate on you. The only thing you got to worry about is leakage. And if you blot it dry, then it should hold up pretty good. So that's where we are with our work here at school. And uh, I'm a chemistry professor. And uh, I've always been interested in the zinc and the aluminum air batteries, particularly the aluminum because of the relatively high potential. You can hit 1.4 volts under the right conditions in preparation. But uh, we want to test the performance of the deep eutectic liquid. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.